gonna be showing you how to do oxtail soup and this is a good example of me cooking what I like what's Caribbean and also what's in season so it doesn't break the bank to get these things ready okay so I'm gonna show you what I'm going to use I know some people they tell me I like the recipes and everything but every time I try something out it doesn't work well this time I want you to do it exactly like I'm doing it right now with exact ingredients if you can and if you can't substitute it with something that you like that would work and um, yeah I hope this works out for you guys instead of oxtail if it's not on sale in your area a good substitute for that would be turkey necks okay so let me show you how this is done alright alright everybody these are the ingredients for our oxtail soup first off we're gonna need some chicken stock and that's some homemade chicken stock that I um, put away I'm gonna use that chicken stock if you don't have chicken stock available and you want a richer soup with more texture try uh, substituting something like um, chicken the chicken soup mix or chicken cubes that would work as well um, maybe two chicken cubes or a pack of chicken soup mix would work really nicely in this recipe I have my, uh, my oxtail and as you can see it is on sale it's a special this week so I got lucky with this I'm gonna use a few cloves of those gar uh, a few cloves of garlic you definitely need the scotch bonnet pepper it is a Caribbean must-have I'm gonna use some of that tomato paste I'll specify how much garlic and how much tomato paste um, when I'm ready to put them in and this is a scallion or you would say green onion I'm gonna use the whole thing and these cilantro leaves I have here one sweet potato two plantains if you don't know what plantains are they are a bananas cousin <laughs> if you have if you get them green they're gonna be savory if they're a little bit yellow they're gonna be sweet if you cannot have uh, if you cannot find plantains try very very green bananas those would work fine too I think <laughs> um, we have there some potatoes uh, two onions I may use one and a half of those I'll tell you later and I have here a half of an acorn squash using this one because it's a little bit on the savory side not much like the butternut squash that is kind of sweet and um, I'm using this because I don't have pumpkin if you have pumpkin that would be great in this recipe if you don't have pumpkin split peas yellow split peas would be great in this recipe of course you'll have to prepare that beforehand because I, I think they only sell it dry uh, as a dry piece so you'd have to do that an hour in advance here I've already cut up my garlic I used five cloves of garlic and the whole sprig of green onion I used one onion in this recipe because it was pretty big and uh, some oregano instead of thyme because I didn't have thyme to put into it and oregano is a pretty good substitute for thyme so we're gonna use about two teaspoons of that thyme maybe two and a half is good enough for a big pot and I, I saved my scraps there because I wanted to show you how I deep peel that onion not only taking the first layer off but also the second layer because it's not quite edible and um, and I did the same with the green onion I took off the pointy bits from the bottoms of it and that extra layer off of it so what you're gonna be left with is a big chunk of the green part and a nice clean bulb to chop into 
And what we're going to do with this, we're going to take that oxtail, you know, put some oil in our, our Instapot, pressure cooker, whatever you're using. We're going to turn that heat up to medium high and cook that oxtail in the uh, oil until it's very brown. Not burnt, just brown on the outsides. Then we're going to add all of these things that I've mentioned along with two tablespoons of the tomato paste and we're going to uh, fry that up a little bit without burning it and get it ready for pressure cooking. Here I have the Instapot and um, what we're going to do is put it on saute. Try not to adjust it to more like I did because it was a little too hot. So leave it on normal, normal saute. And we are going to um, fry up that oxtail first in the hot oil. I'm using olive oil here. And we're going to do that for about not the 30 minutes that they say there, only until everything is brown and cooked well and, you know, very well marinated together. And we're going to be careful not to burn anything because that will make a bitter soup, okay? So, I, this is what it looks like when I've combined everything together. And, uh... Yes. All right, I've added my oxtail into that. Oh, yeah. Put the lid on and pressure cook for 45 minutes. All right, we're on to step probably three in this uh, recipe. Boy, is this long. But when you get it done, you can be faster than I am, okay? Especially with the prep time because I have to film this. All right, let's get all the rest of our vegetables uh, peeled and chopped into uh, medium-sized pieces because we want it to boil quickly. Our meat is already going to be soft after, uh, you know, bubbling in that sauce for a long time. So we want it to cook relatively quickly when we're done with that, okay? This acorn squash, is it has given me a time and a half to separate that. I am not sure I'm going to film myself cutting that up but whatever you do if you're new to cooking be careful with that squashes are really hard and they tend to slip and you can gash your finger off if you're not careful okay what I did with the cilantro I removed the stems and chopped it up rough give it a rough chop and now I'm gonna show you how to peel the plantains because if you're if you don't know how to peel a plantain it's gonna be pretty awkward. They get brown very easily, kind of like apples that, you know, you leave them out, they get a brown film on them. I'm not sure why I'm cutting it right now, but I just want to get everything ready, so let me go ahead and show you with the other one. Okay? Alright, so, this is your plantain. <laughs> You're going to want to snip the sides off, just like that. Let me go into this a little bit more. And then you're going to turn it over and look for a ridge right here. See that ridge? I'm going to cut right along that ridge. Okay? And it's the prominent ridge here. This one's not as big. Right? And where I cut, I'm going to put my knife in there and kind of pry, pry on it like that like that. See? It loosens the uh, skin around there. Let me do that with the other side. It's not going to be as good on the other side, but you can try. Now that that's done, we're going to force our thumb finger in between here, like that. Loosen it up, and then we're going to peel using our thumb, pushing our thumb in there. Peel. Your thumb is the one peeling this thing. Okay? See that? 
and it eventually it pops right off. You might have a few pieces here and there, not a problem. And that's how you peel a plantain, okay? Okay, I've chopped all my vegetables. This is what it looks like after 45 minutes of pressure cooking. If you did this on the stove top, it would be two and a half hours on a low simmer. And I've added my vegetables in and I'm, I'm going to let it cook pressure again for another 25 minutes until everything is soft. Add your salt and pepper to taste and you may need to add a lot more salt at the end of this but just let it go if you uh, are doing this on a stove top you're gonna let it go for another while until it uh, until the ground vegetables are tender and everything is tender in there and this is what the soup looks like after that 25 minutes are up and I hope you enjoy this, guys, if you ever try it out, okay? Bye!